November 1957, four friends in Tanchapahoe Parish in Louisiana had a Bigfoot encounter of the very strangest kind. I was made aware of this case by Albert Rosales, author of the Humanoid Journals. It can be found on the Gulf Coast Bigfoot Research Organization database. According to the witness, it was around 9 p.m., a clear, chilly night. He and three other friends had just gone out for dinner in the movies. Afterwards, they were riding around in their car, talking. Quote, as we crossed the Changipaho River Bridge and was approaching the small bridge immediately after, we all saw someone walking up out of the ditch on the passenger side of the car. The height of this person made me think, giant, unquote. They drove to the next available spot, turned around and came back, desperate to get a better look. Unlike other cases where Sasquatches are sighted on roadways, this creature had not departed the scene. It was still there, standing on the side of the road. Whatever it was, it did not fit into the category of a typical Bigfoot, not by a long shot. Quote, we angled our car to make full use of the headlights and stopped on the road. This guy had to have been every bit of seven and a half feet tall and was pretty hefty, I'd say around 325 pounds. He appeared to be wearing a pair of pants and shirt. It was very dark, bluish in color and very tattered. We didn't notice if he wore any shoes. The most horrifying feature was the shape of his nose, which resembled a snout, and instead of having two eyes, there was only one located off-center of his forehead. After a minute or two, this guy turned and walked back down the incline into the woods and we sped away." Unquote. Upon reaching the town, they proceeded to the nearest police station where they attempted to file a report. Of course, the officers scoffed at their suggestion of a semi-clothed one-eyed monster roaming the nearby woods. He resembled a giant because of his height, weight, his nose snout was long and extended about six inches from his face. He only had one eye, which was off-center to the left of his forehead, the witness added in his report to the GCBRO. So what did those four friends encounter that night in November 1957? It is very rare that a Bigfoot is sighted wearing clothes, even rarer that a Bigfoot might have only one eye. The long snout might indicate that it was possibly a dogman. As mentioned in my Blue Sea Lake video, a dogman or werewolf was spotted wearing clothes in Blue Sea Lake in the early 1970s. Granted, this creature does not sound like a werewolf, or a dogman, or even a Bigfoot. Quote, my three friends and I have often discussed this night, and our own conclusion is that it was a malformed person that had been kept locked up somewhere that had escaped. All four of us lived no more than five miles of this sighting and have never heard anyone else talk about it. Unquote. I've heard of other cases where a Bigfoot has been seen wearing clothes I might talk about it in another video, but it's not very often, like I said, and um, it, it leads me to wonder if this thing was even a Bigfoot or it was something else. Uh, like the guy said, maybe a malformed person, but I don't know, it sounds strange. Um, it sounds like it was a big creature, it could have been a dog, man, it could have been a Bigfoot, I don't know what it was. Um, the fact that it was wearing clothes sounds very strange. Uh, maybe a skinwalker, a shapeshifter, or something like that, or I don't know. It's just a weird, a weird case. Uh, One-eyed, uh, clothing wearing Bigfoot. So, anyways, or, or whatever. So, anyways, I just thought I'd uh, share this quick uh, story. <laughs>